Hello everyone, my name is Chi Zhen Yang, Field Application Scientist at MGI. Welcome to MGI's Webinar Plus Series. Along with our technical webinars, the Webinar Plus Series will be more focusing on VATNAP experiment part. Our FS team will show you how to use our products and services step by step, and that you try to use our instruments correctly. In the following four videos, we will introduce you on the best practice of DNB G400, including the generation of DNA nanobool, the DNB loading, the sequencing run setup, and the device maintenance. Please be noted here, these videos is just an additional material for your experiment. Please read the user manual first before you're watching the videos. Let's start with DNB generation. We have learned that the final library from MGI's library preparate is single-stranded circular DNA library. So we need to amplify that single-stranded circular DNA library into DNB by using Ronin circle amplification, the RCA reaction. Before doing that, we have to know how to calculate the input volume of our final library. So during the library prep parts, we have done a lot of QC steps including the determination of size distribution of our products before circularization. And then we also used qubit along with qubit SSDNA acid kit for determine the concentration of our final library. For example, here shows you some results. The length that we measured is around 509 bits per, and the concentration of our single-stranded circular DNA library is 1.2 nanogram per microliter. Taking WGS library as an example, we usually need to input 40 FFL of the single strand circular DNA library and then bring the numbers obtained from the library QC into this calculation formula. The final result V stands for the volume of the single strand DNA circular library. N represents the length of the fragment or the numbers of the leukotides, including the adapter sequence. C stands for the concentration of that final library. And then we could get the results very quickly. The results is 5.6 microliter. OK, now we can start our experimental part. Don't forget to take your corresponding reagents from your sequencing kit. Once you receive your high throughput sequencing set, it always contains two boxes. One is that sequencing kit, and the other one is our sequencing flow cell. Open that sequencing kit, and you will find a sequencing cartridge, a sticker, and some of the reagent tubes. The ones that you needed for DNB generation is right in this kit. The first step of DNB generation is gradient cooling. Here we are going to use two reagents. One is that low T buffer, the other one is make DMB buffer mix. According to the calculations, the volume of the final library is 5.6 microliter, so the volume of low T buffer should be 20 minus 5.6, 14.4 microliter. The volume of that make DMB buffer mix is 20 microliter. We will add them one by one into a new 0.2 ml PCR tube vortex and short spin, and then put that tube into the thermal cycler. Set the program like a gradient cooling step, 95 degrees, 65 degrees, and 40 degrees, each lasts just one minute. Don't forget to set the heat lead open at 105 degrees. So during this step, our primers will be successfully annealed to the single-stranded circular DNA library. After the primers were successfully annealed, we could start our RCA reaction right now. The reagents that we used for RCA reaction is make DNB enzyme mix 1 and make DNB enzyme mix 2 LC. Add 40 and 4 microliters separately. Please be noted here, the LC enzyme is quite sensitive to the temperature, so please take them out from minus 20 right before usage and add them on ice. Once you add it, you could flick the PCR tube several times, spin it shortly, 
and then put it on thermal cycle. Set the program like 30 degrees, 25 mm and 4 degrees hold because the entire RC erection is running under relative low temperature condition. So we have to set the heating lead to 35 degrees. In the Pierce step, we have used the heating lead with 105 degrees. So here, we recommend you to use another thermal cycle for RC erection, or if you want to use the same one, you have to cool the heating lead down. Now, let's wait 25 minutes until the RC erection is completed. After 25 minutes, what do you get inside the PCR tube is digging in all of wool. Now, you need to add stop run buffer to stop RC erection immediately. While adding the stop buffer, please note here that you can directly add a stop buffer on the surface of the liquid. Do not insert your pipette tips deep inside the PCR tube. After adding, don't perform any operations like vortex, centrifuge, or applying large forces on the PCR tube. That would damage the structure of our DNA nanoball. So, what you can do is to take out a 100 microliter pipette along with the wide ball pipette tip. Hold your pipette above your PCR tube and then aspirate the liquid slowly. Mix that DNA nanoball drop by drop. After five or eight times, the DNA nanoball is well prepared. After DNB is generated, we have to quantify the concentration of our DNA nanoball again by using qubit and qubit SSD and assay kit. The final concentration should be over 8 nanogram per microliter. If it is over 40 nanogram per microliter, we have to dilute it to around 20 nanogram per microliter by using our DNB loading buffer one. We recommend it to you to generate the DNA nanoball right before you are going to give a run. If you want to prepare the DNA nanoball in advance and store it somehow, we recommend you to you store the DNA nanoball at a 4 degree refrigerator within less than 48 hours. Please be careful here. While taking that out right from the 4 degrees, you have to mix them with whiteboard tips again before usage. Alright, this is how the DMB generation process is. And I hope this video will help for you. And in the next video, I will show you how to load our DNA nanopore on our flow cell. And again, for more related videos, Please subscribe our official YouTube channel MGI International or have a look at our official website en.mgitech.cn. If you have further questions, please send email to mgiinfo at genomics.cn and our FS team will be very happy to help you. Thanks you very much. See you next time.